Welcome back to Easy Street Gaming. I, I am Easy. This is the Brutal Age Partner Guide, part 16. Part 16 of a 20 part series. This is the, the Black Shaman comparison. We're, we're gonna go over the, the three different Black Shamans. We're gonna start off with the Blue Black Shaman. The, all of them are speed partners. So they all have a leader skill. It's like 19% of a team bonus. So you can add 19% speed to the entire team's speed. So there's a several different partners that do better with speed we'll go we'll get into that a little more as the video goes on uh, blue black shaman does the destructive flame which is a pretty cool attack it actually has a chance to, it's like a 30% chance to add critical rate to the next attack it also has another 30% chance just to add another attack to the end of the first one so there's all kinds of percentages of, uh, of extra attacks there uh, he does heating soul uh, he'll attack the entire team two times and he has a 40% chance to blind him. And he also does the the Chaos Drop, which is probably his most popular attack where he stuns the entire team or he has a, a chance to stun the entire team. Uh, now the best war pattern for, you can use this same war pattern on all of the shamans. It would be the Cat Wolf and the Cat is the speed war pattern. And the wolf is, uh, is the critical rate war pattern. You want his critical rate to be up as high as you can. You also want his speed to be up as high as, as you can. So, especially for blue shaman, you want his left hand. You want to put speed on his left hand. And then you want to try to get attack percentage for the helmet. And f oh, I mean, I'm sorry, critical rate for the helmet and attack percentage on the right hand. And then for the chest and feet, you want the second through fifth attributes to have the hit point or attack or uh, another uh, really helpful attribute is resistance. You don't want the other team to be able to attack him and debuff him. So on the left side of the screen, you can see uh, how the blue black shaman starts off. He's a four-star partner when he starts off. He's he's the rarest of the three. Uh, he, you can bring him right now all the way up to a six-star third awakening. He's a monster when you get him up that high. He's definitely got to be the strongest of the three of the three shamans. But people ask me this all the time, and I give the same answer, and and I'll tell you why. They, they ask which is best, which which should they feed uh, to, uh, should I feed the red one to the green one, should I feed them back and forth? My answer is, you don't feed any of them at first, you make sure you have one of each. You want one of each for the Lonely Warrior matches that you'll get in with your clan. And it's really important that you try to, to use the opposite color, especially when you're up against the level 2's. So, it's just a, it, there's a huge difference attacking the... the the red Thera, you, you really want to use the blue black shaman or if you're attacking the blue Ian then you, you actually want to go away from the, the blue or the red and you want to attack with the green so you want to use all three colors in the in the ranked not the ranked but the the partner rallies struggling people okay on the right side you'll see uh, this is a really popular speed team they'll use the blue black shaman as the leader of the team and they'll use him with the red guitarist and the blue boar and of course the, the green dragon man as the, the main speedster of the team. If you focus and you actually use uh, the cat pattern on the dragon man and on the shaman, that is an incredibly strong team. There's no natural five stars on the team yet. This is one of those teams that have beat me to death and I haven't got a shot in in the first eight or ten. So I, I've told this story in the past, but there's a member of our clan that uses that exact team and he has just killed me every time we've played. With. So, the strongest of the three has to go to the Blue Black Shaman. But now I'm going to go over the other two still because they both have some really good attacks and they have some really good uses. So don't just Im immediately feed everything to the blue black shaman because he's the strongest now if you have the option and you get him right away as one of your first four stars you're really lucky he's a very rare four star i know he's ranked when they list him on the on the uh on the list he's kind of low down on the four star list but believe it or not he's a very strong four star and <laughs> had kind of a unique thing happen while i recorded this so instead of uh editing editing it out I just decided to fast forward a little bit and play through it in real time this exchange lasted forever <laughs> one of those rare occasions where both both partners were evenly matched and 
in this case the blue the blue berserker kept healing and kept healing kept healing and the and the and the red blonde just couldn't beat him and this this had happened to me at the end of cave stage one time with uh, the colonel and we went back and forth with the colonel and the green demon killer they just went back and forth and back and forth and now if this was this is in times 4.5 and you can see it's going on and on and on. Just imagine it, 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 I recorded in in real speed in point in, in one speed. So they're going to attack each other some more. <laughs> they're going to talk some shit back and forth. Finally, I think Blue Berserker's got a good idea. And. <laughs> He's wrong for that okay so <laughs> let's move on to the green shaman again the green shaman's a speed partner he they all do 19% speed now I, I don't think that's the best as far as the speed partners I believe that I've seen uh, a few out there better once you advance on to five natural five stars uh, the green the green he he has the soul drain and what that does is that takes away the speed of the other of one of the other team members He also has heating soul which he attacks the entire team two times and there's a 40% chance for blind so he does two Single attacks in one team attack and I think that's the difference between the two of them between the, the blue black shaman and the green black shaman If and now if you watch this attack that's going on on the screen the green the green black shaman does a lot of damage so he's able to do a lot of damage just like the blue block shaman is he doesn't restrain quite as well as the as the as the blue does He doesn't stun quite as much unless unless you go away from the cat war pattern uh, Now as far as the war patterns, I would use the same war pattern as 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 I would for for the blue for green Now I'm getting to red though. This is gonna be a little different here um, now uh, the red also has the same leader skill the 19% speed he has the destructive flame like the other two and that means that the critical rate can be 30% for the next attack if he gets the critical rate on the first attack and he also has that uh, percentage of a chance to get a second attack in he has what's called bone jail now uh, bone jail is a, is a single target attack but it takes away the action bar completely so if they're just about to do a big attack on you, it will take away the action bar and make them do one of their normal attacks. So it's a, it's a really big, uh, uh, it's, a, it's actually a really big attack. So it's you may not see a bunch of damage on it, but he's taking away the action bar. And if he happens to hit uh, a, a big partner that's about to do a big multi-player uh, attack, like the, just, a, just an example off the top of my head, like the, the God of Earth, uh, the Red God of Earth that's about to do a huge attack and, and smash the whole team, he can, he can clear out the action bar. And now he has to go. Now the God of Earth has to go back to its normal uh, attack that doesn't have any kind of CD on it. Now, as far as the war pattern, you can use the same war pattern as the other two, which which I, I'm suggesting Cat on all of them, and Wolf because because they do a lot on the critical rate. But you can replace the uh, the Cat with Smilet on. In the case of the of the Red, just because he's a little weaker than the other two, so Smilet on might help him out. You won't get the speed, but you get a little more power. So, easy tips in the Black Shaman, don't feed blue to red or green. Just don't do that at all. <laughs> blue has to stay on blue. If you get multiple blues, then you can feed blue to blue. Uh, number two, build build them all with the cat war pattern. And I have a little asterisk there because you can replace the cat with Smilodon on the red only just because it has that lack of strength. And as we're running out of time, make sure your second through fifth attributes, you make sure you get speed in every one. Make sure you try to get hit point percentage and attack percentage in every one. It's huge on the shamans. So they're definitely huge partners. You want to get all of them. Don't just feed the red and the green to the, to the blue right away. Try to, keep, try to build up on all three. Blue's definitely the strongest, so leave comments down below. Sub to the channel, guys. Uh, can't say enough for all, for all of the attention we've got. I'm, I'm just flattered by everyone. I really appreciate it. Until next time, it's been easy. Take care, everybody.